My friends, I am from Nepal, uh, a very tiny country between two big countries, India and China. If you see the map, India, China, a oh, small country. In our Nepal, when you say Namaste, Namaste means non-violence. Namaste means peace, no fighting. Can you fight with giants? Right? You can't fight. So according to many messages, many meanings of Namaste, one of the very powerful meaning is non-violence, no fighting. So I'm here to say Namaste to you all. So happy to meet you all. You are in such a nice college. You are learning English. And tomorrow you will learn many good things. But you know in English, the first three letters, A, B, C, Z. But the first three letters, A, B, C, and it means always be careful. A, B, C, always be careful, no smoking, be careful. <laughs> No drinking, <laughs> be careful. No cheating, be careful. <laughs> no dominating others, be careful. Don't become ego. I am. I am. Be careful. Not I. You are. No. See, I am. No, you are. Be Don't say I. If it's okay. You say I. In English, this is the only one letter. In English, this is the only one letter which is single. <coughs> Single, right? <laughs> Alone, uh -huh. right? Yes. Separate. If you say I, you are alone. If you say I, you are separate. Say we. Yeah. We, mm. right? You, right? Yours. Right? Ours. I. Never say I. Always be careful. If you are very angry sometimes, and you show your anger, you misbehave. Long breathing, deep breathing, but don't burst out. A, B, C. Always be careful. You see, you will miss your country. 
You will miss your community. You will miss your friends. You start crying. You become depressed. And you start drinking. <laughs> Again, A, B, C. <laughs> no, I <laughs> see. Whenever you are upset, whenever you are puzzled, whenever you are frustrated, A, B, C. No way. You know what is happening in this world? Few people are suffering by depression. Few people are suffering by frustration. And a few people are suffering by tension. I don't know more about Australia. I came to Australia first time. But in Nepal, many women, they are suffering by depression. Women have major problem of depression. And a man of his age, they have frustration. Because children don't listen to them. Frustration. And youths, your age, they have tension. Because they have many desires. They want many things. But they don't have money. They want to go to America, Europe, Australia, Canada for further study. But they don't get visa. So they have frustration. So therefore I say, few are suffering by depression. Few are suffering by frustration. Few are suffering by tension. No one has attention. No one has attention. So A, B, C, always be careful. And most importantly, always be careful about yourself, not about others. Oh, he is not dressing properly. Oh, he is not sitting properly. Oh, he is not doing properly. Don't look at others. Don't look at others. Look at yourself. Look at yourself. And watch your emotions. Watch your emotions. Do you feel comfortable? Do you feel comfortable while you are sitting with Hindu or with Muslim? With anti-religion? Yeah. Watch yourself. Do you feel comfortable while you are sitting with another country or with another community? Always be careful means watching your emotions. Sometimes you say, oh, I'm good, I'm okay, I'm okay. But inside you may have fear. Be careful. Isn't it? Sometimes you show your very bold character, oh, very strong character. But sometimes inside you may have some kind of weakness, some kind of emptiness. Be careful. So you should have some time to listen to your own body. Be careful with your emotions. You are careful with your bags, with your dress, with your hairstyle. You see, fine. That is also good. You have to be well dressed. You have to have well hair, well shoes. Fine. But please be very careful with your emotions. That is most important. That is most important. If by seeing a rising sun, you don't want to smile, it means there is a problem within you. If you see a bird outside, you don't want to listen, it means there is a problem within you. If you see a child crying, and 
you don't feel connection with the child, you don't want to help.